being on a separate site, um, we are obviously part of Kevick, uh, of Kevick, part of the whole school, but we also have our own, very much our own identity um, as a sixth form. So first of all, I just want to introduce to you um, the sixth form team. So Ben Cotton, who is with us tonight, is our leadership link. Um, and Ben teaches up at Kennicott, teaches geography. Um, so he's very much part of the, the everyday workings of the sixth form um, and supports us moving forward. Um, I'm Amy, head of sixth form. Um, and then we have a really, really experienced team of sixth form tutors. Um, and there's a real wealth of experience in supporting students through their sixth form experience um, with us through you know, the, the UCAS process, through progression, through personal development. Um, so Paul, Nikki, Rachel, Laura, Brigitte, Carly and Damien represent a really good cross-section of different subjects um, and we do try to, to match students up to a form tutor who has a specialism in at least one of the subjects that they're studying um, up at Kennicott. So we're very lucky to have a really dedicated team of tutors working together um, to support students and Muskie and Lynn who um, specialise in sort of sixth form admin. Um, and support us with that side of things. So our core values as sixth form, um, our sort of central core beliefs, students are absolutely um, at the heart of everything that we do at Kennicott. Um, and one of the most important and special things really about Kennicott sixth form, um, as a relatively small school sixth form, we really, really get to know our students. Um, our students aren't sort of, they're not statistics, they're not anonymous. Um, they're not one of thousands. They really are part of the learning community and we get to know our students very, very quickly. Students get to know one another um, and, and their teachers and their tutors very, very well. And that's really central to the way that we work, um, to, you know, to the outcomes that we achieve um, and to the student experience. And it's also central to um, the way in which we support our students. Um, and the pastoral care that we deliver. So we recognise that while students are with us in the sixth form in order to get to their, um, you know, their hopeful destinations of university and apprenticeships and, um, and the world of work, we understand that those two years are a really important two years in young people's lives. Um, and students require specialist support during that time um, and, and pastoral care. And so that's something that is very much built into the fabric of what we do um, at Kennicott and, and goes back to that, that wealth of experience that the sixth form team um, share among us. Um, obviously, we are absolutely committed to the very best academic outcomes for our students. Um, and later on in the presentation, I'll, I'll talk you through um, our sort of past few years of absolutely um, brilliant results. We're so proud of our students um, and we really celebrate their successes and we 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 understand how um, you know the student support side of things as well as the um, exceptional teaching and learning um, you know the subject knowledge of staff the ability to deliver um, exam specifications to a really really high standard leads to those excellent academic outcomes for our students. And the aim of the game is, is student progression, that we, we kind of see um, sixth form as a stepping stone for students um, and it, it, it equips them with the tickets to kind of get on to the, the next stage of their journey. Um, and so we, we encourage right from the beginning of year 12, we encourage our students to think really carefully about their progression routes, about where they're going um, and, you know, the, the um, progression rates of university, of apprenticeships, um, it might be travel, it might be the world of work, um, but we ensure that our students get to um, the destination that they set out to. So what do we offer at Kennicott? Um, on the website, you'll find the, um, our course booklet, which outlines all of the courses that we offer um, and more detail about the exam boards and, um, and what the course entails, as well as the, um, the criteria uh, to fulfil in order to get onto the course. But broadly speaking, we offer full-time uh, level three courses. So GCSE is level two and A-levels or um, equivalent applied courses are the next level are level three. Um, so we offer a suite of courses at A-level, um, all the traditional courses really, um, as well as applied courses in media, in art, in performing arts. Um, and sport. 
As, alongside that, um, we offer GCSE English and Maths resits for students who haven't achieved the grade that they needed or indeed wanted. Um, and that goes alongside the level three curriculum. Um, as well as a, a range of enrichment activities, including extended project qualification, which is an additional half an A-level course. Um, the Ten Tours is a, a, a challenge on Dartmoor, um, which is nationally recognised. The Duke of Edinburgh Awards Scheme. Um, every other year we have a, a biology trip to Madagascar. National Citizenship Service. Um, Camps International. Um, offer expeditions too um, and one of the things that that really helps us um, and, and makes our teaching and learning um, as, as exceptional as it is is that our subjects our teachers are subject specialists um, delivering excellence in teaching and learning in the in the subjects that they're teaching so when year 12 students come to us um, we understand that we need to, to support students through the transition from GCSE to A-level. And that's a really challenging transition. Um, it's probably the hardest step um, that students make in their, in their sort of educational careers. Um, the step from GCSE to A-level is probably that steepest jump. Um, it's, it's harder really than the jump from A-level to university. Um, so in order to support students with that transition, um, we ensure that all Year 11 students have had a careers and profession meeting so that they can make the right choices, most informed choices, about their programme of study for stage 5. Um, and so that individual advice and guidance on programmes of study is really, really important because the real key to success at post-16 is ensuring that students are on the right courses for them um, so that they can really succeed and thrive and enjoy those courses. We then would normally offer induction days um, and we set induction tasks in July. Um, sadly, our year 12 this year missed out on that, but we, we provided um, induction tasks for them to carry out during the summer so that they could really get a taste of the courses that they were signing up for, um, really show their teachers um, their commitment to those courses and their enthusiasm for those subjects. And then on GCSE Results Day, uh, the Kennicott team are there to provide support for students um, to talk through their post-16 options and make any changes that might be necessary. Um, and we're then available from GCSE Results Day right up until the start of term to advise students on the best courses and um, programmes of study for them. And then when Year 12 join us in September, they begin a, um, a package of, of tutorial um, sessions um, to, to kind of induct them into the, the sixth form way of working. Oops. So why Kennicott? Why choose Kennicott over other local sixth forms? Um, I've talked about what we offer. I've talked about what makes us um, a really special and positive and caring and inclusive sixth form, um, you know, our teachers and the subjects that we offer. Um, but another really, really good um, reason to, to look at Kennicott and um, to join us is our track record of results and we are as I said at the beginning of the presentation we're really really proud of our students results um, they really are the the, um, the center of what we do and we have enjoyed some really exceptional results over the past few years so we can boast 97.6 percent a star to e grades at a level in the last lot of results that that went through the sort of normal process, 100% pass grade on applied courses. So that's those courses in sport, in media, um, in art, and in performing arts. And our value added score, I think, is really, really telling of the successes that we have achieved at Kennicott. So a value added score of zero means that students reach their target grade. Um, anything above zero means that students are actually achieving better than the grades that were projected from their prior attainment. So a value added score of 0.13 is really an exceptional um, achievement that shows our students are actually doing better um, than, than they should. They're doing better than the trajectory that's projected from their GCSE results. And that's through the hard work of our students, it's through their enthusiasm, it's through their commitment and it's through the expert tuition and guidance of their specialist teaching staff. Sorry, I've got, got company. 
Um, when we were Ofsted two years ago, Ofsted recognised Kennicott Sixth Form as good, um, and that's a really, really positive judgment um, in, back in June 2019. And what Ofsted highlighted as features of the Sixth Form that made us really, really strong and really positive were the size of classes. We enjoy really small class sizes um, in, in many subjects that's you know below 10, which means that students can enjoy a bespoke programme um, and, and teachers can give students the time and attention to really promote student welfare, look after students and meet their needs. Um, Ofsted also highlighted the quality of feedback that students receive, um, which again goes back to that commitment from teachers um, and that small group um, of the ability to give really detailed feedback to small groups of students. And the impact of this on students' progress and learning is really profound. And, um, and Ofsted found that actually when they talked to students, the students reported that they really enjoy sixth form and that they really feel that their needs are being met, that they're happy at Kennicott, um, that they thrive, that they enjoy there. And the students actually said that they wouldn't change anything about sixth form, um, which you know I was really, really proud to hear. It really speaks volumes. Um, so student voice, just to summarise, students enjoy smaller classes, they feel that they're really supported by their, their teachers. They, they really trust their teachers um, and they feel that the, the standard of teaching is really, really high. Um, our sense of community at Kennicott is something really special to us. We are a, a learning community. We're quite a small community. Everybody gets to know one another. Um, and that's really important to our identity as a sixth form. Um, we're really inclusive. We're friendly. We're lovely. Um, we're unique. And students enjoy a level of independence. They enjoy being um, in a, a sort of a sixth form um, centre where they, they're not treated the same as, as they were lower down the school. Um, so some other headlines um, just to, to highlight to you. 100% of students in 2019 achieved A star, A or B in French, further maths, geography, PE and textiles at A level. And that's really 100% um, of students achieved grades A star to C in the EPQ, that, that additional qualification, film studies and maths at A level. Um, there were three A star grades and A stars are really the very, very top um, few percent of students nationally. Um, we had three A star grades in A level maths, four A grades in biology, geography and photography. And that trend is reflected um, when we look look at our student destinations from this year, um, you'll see the, the broad range of, um, and scope of students who have gone all over the country to do all sorts of courses, but we've sent students to the top universities in a range of really academic subjects. Um, students achieved better than their target grades in all of these subjects. And the target grades are, you know, they're really aspirational. So for students to be exceeding those targets, it's a real testament to, to their commitment, to their enjoyment, to their, um, their flourishing in sixth form and the, the standard of, um, of teaching in the environment of Kennicott. So this year was an unusual year, of course. Um, A-level results day was a very unusual day, but it was a really special day because our students came together and celebrated their successes. Um, and I've listed the students, some of the student destinations um, in the most challenging of years, really. Um, it makes this, this achievement of this group of students all the more um, exceptional, really. And you can see from this slide the, the range of destinations that our students go on to. We've got students going to do sport, maths, liberal arts, um, music, um, mental health, nursing. So we're, we're really encouraging a wide range um, of progression pathways for our students. And we're very, very proud of these guys for going on to do what they've done and be able to see um, in a little bit more detail on this document, which is available on the website, some of our students' stories. So what's next? Application forms and the course booklet and prospectus are all available on the college website. Um, under the sixth form admissions tab and I think that's been highlighted for this evening 
Um, any questions and queries? I'm sure that um, you know if you if you don't get a chance to ask a question this evening or you think of it later on, then please do um, email the sixth form team at sixth form um, at the King Edward email address, and somebody will get back to you um, with an answer to your question. And that's that goes for you know for the rest of the academic year. Please do get in touch with us with any questions. Um, you can enjoy a virtual tour online. Our students have been busy um, being interviewed and, and talking to um, the Tama, our theatre technician, who has compiled um, a range of videos to give you a real flavour. And, and it very much is the student voice. It's very much the student experience that you are tapping into there. Um, so please do enjoy those um, those videos online this evening. And of course, um, we'll open up to questions in a moment. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Amy.